All right, people. Welcome back to more Daily Duels. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we are using some tellers. And I opened up beautiful. Beautiful. There is no complaints with this opening hand. If there is any complaints with this opening hand, then you're, you're, it's going to fall in death ears. This hand is fucking just pretty much just beautiful. Perfect. Mwah. Beautiful hand. So, uh, I am I am seriously just... I'm falling behind people. I, I am I am bad. I am bad. I should feel bad. There's so much things that I have to do when it comes to my channel, and I'm just not doing them. And it just sucks. It really does. It just sucks. So, one of the major things that I'm forgetting, and I, I apologize to them, and I'm, I, you know, I, I just keep forgetting. Like, I need something to remind me every fucking day. But, uh, one of the major things that I'm forgetting is that. Uh, okay, well, this guy's name is, ne is named Necrophile, so I was wondering, oh, are you going to duel against Necros? Yeah, so, I guess, yes, we're going to duel against Necros. So, he's going to go ahead, Glossalus Pitch. So, now I get to at least look at Necros a little bit better, because I've never really looked at Necros too much. So, of course, he's going to go ahead and activate Cycle, so you're actually going to summon back the Glossalus. Ooh. No, that's fine. Glossalus is fine. You can have that, then what I'm, what I'm mad at. And you got pitch through it! Oh, and then summon Trish. I, th I thought Cycle summoned from the graveyard. No, it could be hand or graveyard. I'm definitely gonna fucking Nova you. Like, that that's a fucking given. Like, fuck, fuck the Trish. Like, fuck that shit. Shrit is really powerful too. Like, your entire tribute, and you get to search for a warrior. Like, holy shit. Just so you know, just to inform you guys, I am working on part two of my badness prediction. Uh, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking snazzy. I must say, like, if literally my badness prediction, if that was the ban list, oh my god, it'd just be perfect. Like, you know, I've been sitting there informing people of so far what my ban list predictions are, and uh, so far people are like, yeah, that, that's a good list. That is a good list. You yeah. <sighs> know. Anyway, yay necros. So just watch the same looping play so let's go ahead and see if he wants to go ahead and do his fucking um his digital lock and then i will lose i will fucking lose like i'm already in a fucking losing table i fucking nova him and he's still going off with plays like how fucking stupid is that like okay how fucking stupid is that so you should go ahead and attack it's fine i'll take it so at least I know he has, I know one of the cards in his hand, which is uh, Gunnir. And what does Gunnir's hand effect? I think it's like when he's targeted or something. During the first turn, you can discard this card and turn him on. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects this turn. Ew. Well, that's awesome to deal with. And then, of course, this guy definitely just negates all face up hmm that's the question no I'll leave it alone for now bottomless that would have been fucking nice a turn ago but hey I can't complain I fucking know with him and he still had play so hmm I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and go into uh rog yeah rog Rock is fine for right now. Everybody else, I mean, their effects are going to be negated, so. So he still has two cards in his hand that I don't know of. And then, you know what the real suck thing is? That when I kill him, he can just go ahead, oh, banish all my mirrors, get my cards, and keep going. Fucking necros. Like, mm. Mm. Yeah, this, clear, this deck is clearly like, ah. I can, I can see it now. I haven't really faced necros. I never faced it in, in tournaments I go to because I never get that far. Like, I end up facing other things, and never facing Necros, so... So, this might be worth something, but this guy is clearly... <laughs> Go ahead and ask him that. Just curious. Just curious. You know, you're, you're, you're using Necros, you know the deck much better than me. Maybe you can give me some insight, because I want to know what you think. Now, what do you think? How Necro should be hit. So it's pretty obvious that if I'm gonna try to run him over, he's just gonna fucking Valk me, which which will well, he's gonna Valk and block the Unicorn from dying, which is fine. 
I can still go for Deltaros, though. Yeah, I'll still go for Deltaros. Deltaros is strong enough to run him over, so that's really all I care about. L. I, 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 I don't know what L means. You know, it's pretty obvious that Necro should be hit. I mean, that's not a given then. You know, I don't know what is, but I'm just kind of curious about what you think about, you know, how the deck should be hit in general. I mean, I, and that's funny thing, I play Teller Knights. I'm not saying, you know, Teller Knights should go and hit either. You know, I'm being totally unbiased. For my part two, and my part one, I hit Teller Knights. But for my part two, I still have hits for Teller Knights. I don't really have hits for every single deck, you know? Necros get hit. Every deck. All the, all the top five decks get hit on my list. Like I said, you can clearly, you can see, you can see these plays. You can see the plays that he's doing, and... Yeah, there's definitely a, there should be a line that definitely should be drawn. Yep, and I'm definitely looking at some of them. Dueling the deck now, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that should be hit, that should be hit, that should be hit, that should be hit. So of course he's just gonna go ahead and pitch it and then shum that fucking Trish again. Yep. So that's fucking awesome, I guess. Man, might as well play bottomless. I'm still gonna get fucking wrecked by fucking uh, Trish because Trish effect still goes off. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Ridiculous. Then Shrit Effect, yeah, yeah. Grab another Trish, do it again, like. Really? Really? <laughs> I have Call and. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and block with Altair. Don't want to lose too many, too much life points. It's like, yeah! Yu-Gi-Oh! Teller, I mean, Necros. Woo! It's it, Shriot. I never noticed how good fucking Shriot was as a card. Holy shit. I was already going to hit it on my part two. I was like, I was sitting there thinking. I was like, you know what? Shriot is very vital in this fucking deck. Like, fucking without Shriot, like, you wouldn't be able to do like half the fucking plays you do in this deck. Fucking Shriot's a monster. That's fine. You can kill the Zamp. I'm just gonna summon it back and search some more, so. Alright, so definitely gonna go for another one. And then you know what the stupid thing is? Is that he can just go ahead and. If I kill him and he, there's no monster in the field, he can go ahead and search for another fucking cycle or whatever. And then fucking hit me again with the trick that he has in his hand. Like. Yeah, it's stupid. Like, you should be hit, you should be hit, you should be hit, um, you should be hit. Like, there's so much fucking shit. You should be lowered for consistency reasons. Yeah, but right now, you, 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 and you are the problems in that. Now, since facing it, I can, I can clearly see it. I can clearly see it. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. There's really no rain in the first place. I mean, it's fucking Necros. I mean, what do you expect, right? I said, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stay in this duel. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an Unuk. I mean, I don't even at this point, but at least I can go Vega Unuk and then do a play like that. So, we'll go ahead and just go into Deltaros again. And this is gonna be fucking awesome because I'm gonna kill him and then blow him up and then I'm still gonna get fucking wrecked. So, I know he has a Trish in hand. I'm up on resources, but I'm down on plays, like, especially since I don't run as much back row or anti-necro cards as, as I could be running. I'm just asking to get wrecked, you know? But like I said, I wanted to go ahead and see this, this deck for its full fucking potential, so. So, show me what you got. Hmm. I wanted to detach the Neb, but then I also wanted to detach the Altair as well. You know, I know at him, and he's still fucking fine. Like, that is some crazy fucking shit. So, next turn, he's just gonna go ahead and grab another mirror, because he has no monsters. Like, I see it. I see it. I can see how this is. This deck is strong. Like, it doesn't fall. You know? For a ritual deck, it just doesn't crumble. Like, you take out their field, and then just build it back up. Like, Amish Farmers or something like that. 
Gonna grab another Kaleido. And go ahead and blind space me, like I guess. I mean, there's really no point in me chaining. But right now, I gotta make sure that Deneb is safe. Necrozmere. So. By banishing monsters from your graveyard? Oh my god, it's fucking busted. Like, you take the whole fucking mechanic of fucking ritual summoning and then break the living shit out of it. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. I went from successful to boo in, in a matter of seconds. Holy shit. Yeah, no, the whole the whole mechanic is busted. You're supposed to attribute an egg when you summon with necros, but yet you're not. Like, mmm. So you're just gonna run me over. I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting terribly right now, but I could be a lot better. Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon the Deneb for my deck. Like I said, he has two cards. Like, can I actually fucking win this duel? I'm not, and the sad thing is I'm all out of real Teller Knight plays. Like, I would literally have to, you know, Emerald or get a more revival cards. And I've burned through a lot of revival cards too. Like it is just not looking good for me right now. Yep. So now it's the question is what should I do? That is the question. I can go Vega Ulk the Nuclear High and then I can go summon Triv, Triv Effect well, return everything. Yeah, I think that's the best choice, especially since I'll get my call to hunt back. Alright, so What's your one piece of background that you haven't played all duel? And the crazy thing is that he'll once again have no teller, no necros on the field, and he'll pick something out, and he'll go ahead and do that again. Like, maybe it's because I just don't know how to face this deck, but I am not having a good time. I I would love if I could pick that fucking. Nope, I didn't get it. Well. Well, I'm gonna get fucking Trist again. Does he have it? Oh yeah, yeah, he has it. Right there, right there. Yep, he's gonna go ahead and search for another mirror, a Kaleido mirror, and then... Yep, another Necro's mirror. Tribute from your fucking graveyard? What the fuck is that? That's not even negging! And then summon the fucking shit again. Oh my god! You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and set my hand. I'm gonna set my fucking hand so you can't fucking do that shit to me. This time I can actually set my fucking hand. Like, no, 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 not today, sir. You want to go ahead and search another mirror and do that play again? But, God, it's just like, I keep hitting you and you keep just getting back up. You're like a fucking zombie. Like, oh, here are Go ahead and grab me another Necro's Mirror. Necro's Mirror. Trip it from my fucking graveyard, because that's balanced. Like, headass. Yep, doing play again. At least I don't have any cards in my hand, so you can't fucking Trish me again. You can summon Trish, but you can't Trish affect me again. But, God... This duel is fucking annoying. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and kill my Triv, which is totally fine. So, Triv. Still have a new uh, Altair. So. so, I'm an Altair. Altair. Some Deneb. Like, I'm, I'm combating your broken plays with my broken plays. Eventually, we're, uh, we're gonna pat her out, so it's only a matter of time to see who loses this duel. I don't know what this card is. Please don't let me draw a monster. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and triv again. And as I said, triv triv is busted. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and MST your card because I really don't give two fucks about what it is. Triv again and pick it out of your hand. So, no more of your fucking shit. Like MST that. You can trade if you want. I don't care. I really don't care. The MST don't care. Compulse. Okay, I guess it doesn't change anything. Sure, return my Deneb. I'll just go activate Call the Haunted Summon Vega. Vega summon the Deneb from my hand. Like you did nothing. You did nothing. I'm gonna win this fucking duel. I'm tired of this shit. Necros are fucking busted. This game is busted. One thing I gotta be careful of is getting trished again. And I'm all out of searches with Deneb, but. I said, so this card, this, this, this rota, it should be dead. Oh, I have one more Deneb. I was say, it should be dead. Like, oh, it's not dead yet. I have a normal summon this turn either. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go into Trev, pick everything out of his hand, then go into... Yeah, go into Trev again. I said Trev should be hit. I shouldn't be able to trip, 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 trip multiple times either. That's busted too. I see the busted plays. I see the busted plays in both decks, so at least I'm not a hypocrite. You don't need that. I want summon you. Hmm, did I already get Vega Effect? I already got Vega Effect this turn. God damn it. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get Vega Effect and go ahead and return my shit. Like, no, no, I already did Vega Effect this turn. Like, goddammit. Goddamn, if I lose because of that. If I lose because of that. I already did fucking Vega Effect this turn. I totally did. My bad. I was like, yeah, Vega summoned Unuk, but I forgot. And his compulse made me use Vega. Oops. Alright, you you are top decking, sir. You are top decking, you can still use Necronus. So you pretty much got top deck into a Necros monster. Essentially, that's how this duel is. Do I win? Do I fucking win? Oh, now I get Phoenix Chain. I've been helpful. Do I fucking win, or does he have... Is he about to start Valking me? Is he gonna start Valking me? I should've fucking trived you! Yeah, he top decked the Valk. I should've fucking trived you. That's my bad. I totally forgot. My bad. Wow, he totally fucking top decked the Valk. Ah, oh, I'm bad. I should've fucking did my effect. It's fine, though. He totally, he's just like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Valk! Like, alright, that's cute. Not sure how long it's gonna last you. I'm gonna go to Emerald, put my old tires back. Please don't let me draw a monster. Return you. Return you. And I have plenty of you. I return you. And I will set that. <laughs> Just in case. I don't need the upstarts right now. Did you draw into another Valk? Yes! I beat Necros! Woo! God, that was a, that was a difficult duel. That was, that was fucking just like... Like, both of us would die. Both of us wouldn't die. Like, why will you die? Like, if I, if I didn't open up as well as I did, I would have probably already got crushed. But I opened up really well and... That, that was that was a war of attrition. I can't stand Necros. Cannot stand Necros. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna be right back, get one more duel in, and then finish talking about all the things that I'm just fucking up. So be right back. All right. So still, still not set, send the match to Megan Chaos and Tyler yet. I I I keep forgetting, and then when I remember, I don't have any money, and it just keeps on going back and forth. Uh, what's another thing that I totally forgot? This hand's really good. This hand's, like, ridiculously good. Like, like, if I reveal, like, a Call of the Hunted or, or something off of this pot, like, this hand is just, like, fan-fucking-tastic. So, definitely think Tyler Knight should be hit. Definitely Triv. I'm not sure about them. So, I still think he's in Nemtu 2 as, a, as an initial hit. There's a lot of people, when they freaking hit Tyler Knights, they're trying to murder the deck. And it's just like, whoa, it's the first hit. Like, calm down. Calm down. You know, or the consistency first. 
But Trevis, Trev, three Trevis is just naturally broken. Like, there's nothing to point fingers at when it comes to Teller Knight. Not even Alpha. A lot of people are pointing fingers at Alpha. It's like, it's just a counter trap. Like, it's a fair card. Like, as fair as a counter trap can possibly be, it's a fair card. I tribute my monster, so I lose my monster, negate one of your cards, and then I get to draw a card. So I'm losing my definite monster for a random draw. You know? Like, you want to go after fucking Nova, like, what's next? You're gonna go after fucking, uh, the fucking Senju counter trap, or Zephyr counter trap? Like, you know, it's not, it's definitely, people are like, oh, hit it to one. Like, no. Like, it's not fucking Inferno. You just can't search for it. You just happen to draw it, then it's a fine card, but, nah. Uh. You know, if you hit if you hit Nova down to one, Teller Knights are still gonna whoop your ass, you know. So, you know, shit. I got one Nova last duel and I beat Necros, so. Well, that's fine. Ah, oh, it's Chicken Race. Oh, that's fine. Mhm. Mm so, is it Chicken Race FTK, or are you just playing as an engine? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's definitely a chicken race, so FTK. All right, well, I'll pretty much allow him to patter out of resources. So we can also see the broken shit in this. So Teller Knights, Necros, and uh, Chicken Race, FTK. So pretty much you'll see the Brusted card. I'm not, I'm not going to touch him. I'm literally just going to go ahead and pick. I'm, you know, I'm still not sure if it's Chicken Race, FTK, because he can still be running as an engine. You know, three Terraforming, three Chicken Race, and three Pseudo Space. Like, who cares? My points are just resources. No. Yeah. It definitely looks like chicken race, so FTK, right now. I said it's the new, it's the new Hobany, new Hobany, with triple chicken race, triple pseudo space, triple, triple uh, terraforming. These are all cards that, that even you out one for one. Triple upstart, you can learn you run like a twenty-eight card deck, and not even have to run reckless. Like it's crazy. He's just even out. None of these cards he's playing right now are negging. He's still same with resources. Like, if that's not crazy, then shit. I don't know what is. Up. I guess I should go ahead and figure out what the fuck this card is. I said, is it something sacky? Because I feel it's something sacky. I feel like unless I Nova, I'm not going to get my Deneb killed. What is it? Treeborn. Okay. Well, you had a field spell. Whatever. Alright, it just seems like you're just running Chicken Race as an engine and not actually the Chicken Race FTK. He doesn't want his Treeborn. He's going to set another monster. Pass his turn. Okay. Nothing much is happening. This duel. I know. I know. What's another thing that I just, I just, I just been out of it. Besides Bamless Part Two, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I, I have my hits. I have my hits, and the list looks really good. Like really, my prediction list. I get. I should not. Uh, and depending on how liberal you are, because you know I'm very conservative when it comes to Bamless predictions. So I have a lot of hits. Like Necros get hit. Tone Knights get hit. Shadows get hit. Even, even. Unlike part one, even Burning Abyss get hit. Burning Abyss get hit, Cleese get hit. Like, all top five decks, they get hit. All of them. All of them. And, rightfully so, but like I said, maybe I'm just being a little bit too conservative. Maybe I'm just like, hit everything. Everything must die. Everything must burn. You get nothing. Like, yeah. Maybe that's just me. I have no idea. This man still has six cards. I can't push. You know. I really don't want to just summon the Altair and not do anything with it, so I really can't push. Okay. No idea what you're going to do. I guess you're just going to be like, summon Christia. Like, okay. No, that's fine. Summon Christia? What the fuck is that? Let's call this summon. Toss a coin. Heads. During your end phase, you can send two monsters you control to the graveyard to skip your opponent's next turn. Hmm. Tails. During your opponent's draw phase, add the top card of their deck to their hand. So you're gonna try to send two monsters. That's so you're gonna send two monsters you control. So you, during your end phase, you can send two monsters you control to the graveyard to skip your opponent's next draw, next turn. Okay. 
and then during your opponent's draw phase. So you're, you're really risking the luck. I'll let you get it because it's interesting. I want to see what you're doing. Why on tail? So thank you. I'm going to get to go ahead and draw twice, essentially. Can I didn't happen? Finally. Shit. I've been waiting for that. Finally. Final fucking Lee. Add the top card of their graveyard, other graveyard too. So I get my Dinette back to my hand. Ew. Well, it's not terrible, but ew. I don't want my Dinette back to my hand. <laughs> uh, I didn't read that correctly. I thought I got get, like an additional draw or something. I didn't read. Read Daniel, read. Nah, nah. fuck reading. Who needs to read? Whatever. Just go ahead and summon Dinette again. So thanks, I guess. Go ahead and grab that Vega. We'll start doing some Dutch Rouse plays. Next turn. Okay, for right now. Go ahead. And that's only when that card is summoned, so really now it's just a 31 beater at this point. And at that point, at this point, I really don't care. Foolish. That is fine. I'm still trying to figure out what you're, where you're going with this. I have no idea where you're going with this. Insta fusion. That's fine, so. Summon 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 noting. Hell yeah, summon noting. Uh question is should I allow him to get noted? No, no, because he's gonna exit on. Like no. Like no no to noting. No. You can attack me with the world all you fucking want. I don't care. No, that's fine. So I'm assuming that you're gonna go ahead and push for an exit time. Like now since I know what your back row is. Might well, be a great time to go ahead and exit time. I'm gonna know it, but No, a wobble chain. A wobble fucking chain. Hmm. That's a good question, so I'll always get that. You clearly have something up your sleeve, but I'm not sure. No, that's fine. No, I should have bottomless it. I forgot I had bottomless. It's a bottomless. It wants to activate. Should have bottomless it. I was thinking he was gonna summon Oxiton, so it caught me off guard. But no, I'll allow him to get it. I want to see what you're doing. Right now, love with the Lava Chain is not really a threat to me. No idea what you're doing, but next turn it'll all be for naught. Definitely not gonna trip him, even though it'd be nice to keep my feature. He just wants another world on top of his deck. I'm not gonna let you get keep that. Like no. So Nolan's so powerful because it gives you an, a, an easy access to XC summons like Altair and Wolfbark, except it doesn't cost you your normal summon. Like, that's not fucking power. I don't know what it is, I'll take the two thousand. Got another Nova. Okay, that's kind of getting annoying. But it's just every single time. I'll go ahead and chain the Deneb. So, chain resolves backwards and then some of the Deneb. It's just gonna play Max C. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? I love plussing. I'm definitely gonna have to push this turn, though. Just since I got multiple Novas and shit. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go into Trev. I said I wasn't gonna go into Trev, but I'm gonna Trev him. I like how that last card was a fucking Max C, like, out of all cards. Go ahead and trivia. Because I got Phoenix Chains, I got Novas, two Novas, like. I'll say just fun. Like the shittiest part is returning your Valhalla and shit, but I could just Nova that, so.
Damn, look at all the cards I got in my fucking hand. Like, hello? Uh, I don't know, just attacking. Is that some back row? Uh, what else? What else? Oh, my fucking... Not only did I reach 1,500 subs, which if you guys haven't noticed, I reached 1,500 subs. Thank you very much. I love you guys for all the support and everything that you give me. Like, I wouldn't be anywhere without y'all. But not only did I reach fucking 1,500 subs. Which one did I set? I want to set Oasis. But also, my three-year anniversary came, and I did nothing. Nothing. Like, like if that ain't cray-cray. I don't activate Oasis. So I'm back to Neb, because I would like to go ahead and tribute to Neb for uh, Novin. I have no idea what you're planning, but I think at this point I pretty much won this duel. Even with that max C, you, you, you drew a couple cards, I must say. I allowed you to draw a couple cards, but I had to push at that point. So you're gonna go ahead and summon Valhalla? That's fine. Activate Valhalla, that's fine. Summon the world, world effect, and then I'm gonna be like, no, no, but. That's the whole reason why I summon the Neb. Now I get pretty much get two negates, because now if you do anything else, then I'll fucking Nova you again. Like, and I got Bottomless, and I got Phoenix Chain. Like, no. Whatever you're planning, no. Now go ahead and give me a thousand life points. Thank you. Hopefully you draw into what you need. I said he's he's running the he's running the Hobening engine, the chicken race Hobening engine. One day of fucking peace, that's fine. You better set your cards, set your hand, hopefully. Not, not Trev is definitely gonna go ahead and pick something out again. Alright, well, this duel's going on for a lot longer than I anticipated to go on for. So Trev. Well, what's up with them treeborns? So I guess I'll just start clearing up this back row. Not really threatened by his monster, so. So, Altair. Altair summon Vega. Vega summon Unuk. I'm holding on to the, the MST. Wait and see what you want to do. So in control of this duel. So much resources. It's fucking crazy. So many cards. So little time. Deltaros. Two, three. Deltaros. I'm pop this one. I still have no idea what you're planning. Okay. Of course, Noden doesn't have to be on the field to resolve his effect, so... Or does he? When this card is special summoned. Yeah, not if, so... Yep, no effect. If it said if this card is special summoned, then yeah, you would get the effect, but it says when, so... That was cute, that was cute. I was gonna give you A for effort, but no. still have no idea what the fuck you're playing. Hmm. Now the question is, should I MST that? I'm thinking about MSTing it. I'm gonna MST it because I'm not really worried about the Valhalla, because I can do with whatever he summons. Like, oh no. Stop. No Noden. We get it. Noden's broken. Stop fucking sucking on his nipple to get to this duel. Like, you're gonna lose. Just stop. 
this duel is pretty, it's essentially over. No, I don't that. I don't need to set two fingers chains for his fucking three cards that he has right now. You wanna go ahead and special summon? Go ahead and special summon. I don't care. Okay. So is that it? Is that fucking game, sir? Should most definitely be game. That's it. GG. Because whatever you do, I'm going to go ahead and fucking Nova it. So. Look at that card. G. Call the Haunted. Reckless. I guess. You're really desperate to draw into something. That should be it. Hope you, not to say, so if you drew into the battle or so scarecrow or something, because that's it. So, I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of things to do, a lot of unfinished things. So, uh, send them mats. I was planning on doing some kind of live stream to celebrate 1500 subs and the three year anniversary, but it was like my anniversary like this past Saturday and I did nothing. So, and I'm still just fairly busy. I'm probably going to wait until I'm, after I'm done with my uh, summer school class. And then I will have like pretty much all of July and all of August to do whatever you know so uh we'll probably save it till then still trying to figure out what i want to do because i'm thinking i'm giving doing a giveaway but shit if i do another mat send i mean how look how long it's taking me to send omega chaos and tyler's fucking mat or mal you know look how long it's taking me to send their mats let alone you know some more mats like shit because i don't have to buy them but generally people want me to sign them so that means i have to send them to my house instead of sending them to their house sign the mat then go to the post office which is of course a bureaucracy you guys know i hate bureaucracies and send the package to them. And then, you know, when I send people like, you know, Tiago and Omega Chaos, it's fucking expensive. It's like 20, 30 bucks. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it. So, Beat Necros and some Saki Chicken Race deck that just uses the engine. Like, he was literally opening. We saw Upstart, Reckless, Chicken Race, Terraforming, Pseudo Space. Like, he had some fucking Hobening. Hobening 2.0. Shit. So, just gonna go ahead and call an episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Klebola. Yep. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.